Hey guys, it's May May, and today we're doing some more chalk couture. Now, you might remember that there is a video on my channel of your, it's not mine, is it? It's mine, I believe. <laughs> I'm talking to Amanda, she's in the room with me. This is a stove cover. When we showed the stove cover, so many people asked what this was for. This is actually something, I don't know if it's a Southern thing or not. I don't know if it's just something that's going around in our area, but this is wood that Amanda's husband actually put together for us. It's got these handles on the side and it's the size of the top of your stove. And it's made so if you have one of those glass top stoves, you sit this on and it gives you kind of more counter space. I don't have a glass top stove. I have electric eye stove, but I'm still going to sit this on it. Um, it'll be fine because I'm, I'm very OCD about my stove being turned off. So it won't be on accidentally. Um, anybody else like that? I go to bed and I'll get up twice to check it. I'm really that person. So I guess the house fire does that to you. But I had this all done and we might even have shared a picture. I think I did share a picture of it. Picture. Uh, it was really cute. It was done with the barn and all that, but I've changed my home decor and it didn't match anymore. So now I'm going to put this on in white. So I have my gray and white theme, which is what I'm doing in my kitchen. And um, this one is discontinued. This is the thing. you got to grab these up. When you see them and you like them, get them. They don't discontinue super fast. But from catalog to catalog, things will discontinue, and this was one of them, and I grabbed it as soon as I saw it because I thought, I don't know when, but I'm going to want that. I actually wanted it for my mom's kitchen, but um, Amanda's going to help me. This is a bigger transfer, and sometimes when you're doing these big ones, you can use extra hands just to help you pull that off, and then, of course, put it back on, but I am going to... Gosh, that doesn't feel very... like I feel like I could almost go with it. Mm, nope, we're going to fuzz it. There's a test. See that? We tested it, so I'm going to fuzz it. All right, I'm going to lay down two towels to fuzz with here. Let me flip this over. Um, you guys should see me. I have this chicken stuck to me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it works. I hug cricket mats, too, so there we go. All right, so I'm going to lay this down, rub this on, and this is called fuzzing. And what we're doing is taking a little of the sticky off. Now, this um, wood is stained with just a household stain. So it's probably best that we fuzz this several times so it doesn't stick to the wood too hard. And this chicken can be used over and over again. So I still can use it for my mom if she likes it. And this is not a chicken and everybody's gonna fuss at me about that. It is a rooster. There we go. Well, I can't get it. If you don't get it, I don't think it's gonna make that big of a difference. All right, I'm gonna do the edges that I didn't quite get. Yeah, it's a rooster. I do know that. I'm a Southern girl. My grandmother would be very disappointed with me if I didn't know that was a rooster. They're all chickens. And ships are all boats. <laughs> That's right. Ships are all boats. And these are all chickens. All right. I'm using the bottom of this wording to help me line this up. I want this wording to land right at the bottom of this board. That actually looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. I got pretty lucky on that. Now I'm just going to squish this guy down. Now, this is another one of those don't blink projects because this is very super fast. All right. Now, some spaces right in here is not going to have any um, chalk. Right up here is not going to have any chalk. Right up here. If I don't like it, I'll wash it off and redo it. But I think it's going to be fine. I think you'll get the gist and it'll look kind of worn. I mean, you know, wood kind of wears over time. So, all right. Not needed, but I'm going to take my spoon because I have it handy and I'm using my big old squeegee today. So, I'm going to take this spoon and lay this out. Because like I said, I'm going to use my big squeegee to make this super fast. And I am going to try to not put too much in those creases. Um, we'll see. It did well the last time, so I'm hoping it'll do well this time. Again, we know now we can wash it off. Or wash it out of the creases. I love this big squeegee for these guys. We like to use this big squeegee when we do our front porch windows here at the shop because it does it so fast. Go across right there. I need some more. Let's see if I can pull some down this way. All right. Let me add a little more. I hope this pops as much as I think it's going to. I think it's going to be stunning. Tell me in the comments below if you've used Chalk Couture, have you done these big transfers like this or have you shied away from them? Have you been a little scared of them? Some people tell me they're intimidated by these big transfers. There's no reason to be. 
The only thing you really have to do is go a little faster when you're doing these big guys, but that's really it. Because you're doing the same thing, you're just doing it over a bigger surface. And I'm being stingy, I need to add more. And my wood is uneven. I can kind of feel it dent in right here, but that's okay. We don't mind. Oh, right there. I feel like that's pretty covered. All right, let's see what we get. Worst case scenario, we can redo it. These little um, pieces are going to help us pull up. Well, I say they are. Okay, let me get something so I can get down in there and grab it. There we go. All right, now when you release this, you want to pull it evenly. You don't want to pull from one corner to the other corner. You want to pull all the way evenly across. This is gorgeous. Look at that beautiful thing. I love it. Amanda's got to step out because she's going to go watch that. I know she's going to open the door, but how gorgeous. And I know that that is messed. If you don't see farmers as much at the top. But again, if I bought this from an antique shop, it would probably be worn or, you know, ragged in areas. But I love how this looks. Now, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself from any old store some matte sealant. I'm going to spray a matte sealant over it to make it permanent, and it is going on my stove. There you go, guys. That is how quick and easy it is. Now, if you would like more information about Chalk Couture, the best thing for you to do is to email Amanda, amanda at maymaymadeit.com, or you can go to our site, which is chalkcouture.com forward slash maymaymadeit, and you get all kinds of information there. All right, there you go. Another Don't Blink project. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you again next time. Bye-bye.